States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, public comment. I have one card from Bruce Olson. Okay. Good evening. My name is Bruce Olson. I'm from East County. Tonight I'm speaking for the Delta Peddlers Bicycle Club. I am, as well as everyone in this room, I'm sure, sad that the voters did not see fit to pass Measure X. Oh well, life goes on. One of the projects that was to be funded had the measure passed was a crossing of the new Highway 4 in Brentwood for the McCullamy Aqueduct Bicycle Trail. This crossing is a mandated mitigation by the EIR for the construction of the freeway. Actually, all three of the regional trails that are crossed by the freeway were mandated to be conducted across. Crossings were, in fact, built for the other two regional trails as part of, as part of creek or road crossings that had to be built anyway. When the time came to authorize the construction of the McCullamy Aqueduct Trail, which is built on the East Bay Mud Utility Right-of-Way, the chair of the Highway 4 Bypass Authority at the time declared that he could not see his way clear to spend motorist money on bicyclist amenities. So the freeway was built, but the EIR mandated mitigation was not. The staff member of the Bypass Authority, who has since retired, went immediately to Brentwood City staff because the crossing is completely within the city of Brentwood, and promised in writing that the authority would build a bridge for the trail within one year of the trail being completed up to either side of the freeway. In my opinion, this was a cover your tail end kind of behavior on staff's part, because he didn't want to get stuck in the middle of this mandated EIR not being built. So those trail segments were completed about 12 years ago, but there is still no crossing of the trail of that freeway. The Highway 4 Bypass Authority pleads no money. When Caltrans took over ownership and operation of the freeway, I alerted them to the necessity of completing the mitigation. They responded by writing into the takeover contract that the financial responsibility for the construction of this crossing would remain with the bypass authority. Last week, at the East Contra Costa Regional Fee and Finance Authority meeting, staff announced that so many houses were being built in East County that they had extra money. ECRAFA, you will recall, is where TransPlan and the Highway 4 Bypass Authority get the money for their projects. However, rather than earmarking some of this windfall for the EIR required crossing of the freeway for this regional trail, they decided to speed up their construction schedule. I'm here tonight to ask the CCTA to look into this and and maybe nudge the Highway 4 Bypass Authority in the correct direction. <clears throat> I'll respond to questions if you like. Questions, anyone? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next item, consent calendar. Do we have a motion? I'll move approval. I'll move approval. Okay, I'll move motion. Second. <laughs> <laughs> motion by, by Romick, second by Tapson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? A motion carries. Um, so that the minutes and the consent calendar? That was just the minutes. No, that was the minutes. Uh, next item, consent calendar. Did, does anybody want to take anything off the consent calendar? You, you do? No, no I'd no. be happy to move the consent agenda. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, motion by Stepper, second by Tatson. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. 
Okay, so that brings us down to um, the one new item we have, presentation by Self-Help Counties Coalition of California Association of Councils of Government, and I've been informed that the people making this presentation are were somewhere between here and Sacramento, and they've been advised to turn around and go home. <laughs> right? Yes. Right. Okay. So uh, we will not be having that item uh, tonight, and that brings us down to correspondence and communications. Uh, anything you want to draw to our attention specifically? Okay. Um, associated committee reports. Does anybody have a report from any of those? Uh, commissioner and staff comments. Uh, commissioners, anybody have anything? Executive staff, executive director. Yeah, commissioners, I wanted to add a couple of points. One, we're in the process now of recruiting Ross, so that, that process is underway. The goal is to have somebody on board early April. And the other issue is Lindsay Ivan this year and I went to the Transportation Research Board. It was another record year for attendance, over 12,000 people. And on Thursday, I got invited, and I sent you all a copy of the agenda from that meeting. Um, but I got invited to this invitation a round table to talk about access to smart city transportation. So one of the issues that, that people are recognizing from our perspective is that we're not only trying to provide smart transportation for the people that have the ability to have access to transportation, we're also looking through our, through our outreach is we're looking for ways of providing access to those people that don't have normal access. And so they're very interested in all the work that you all are doing. So I, I sent the note out only to congratulate you and thank you and keep up the good work of supporting that effort because as people depend more and more on these, there are still people that don't have these smartphones, and we have to figure out ways of providing access to those folks so that they have mobility, they can go out and get a job, and do all those things. So there was a number of speakers from different parts of, the, of our transportation spectrum, but I, I think I was most proud that we we had um, we were represented at this meeting. So that's that's all I have to say. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, anybody else? Welcome, Chris. Next. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Any uh, any comments on the calendar, future calendar? Hearing none. Anything else? Going once, going twice, and being adjourned. I'll just let everyone know. I just got a text from Bill Higgins. He says, "Ugh, bad roads. Sorry, I eighty is a river." <laughs> I said somebody should work on that. Yeah. <laughs> so what wasn't in Contra Costa though was. It? 